Hello, Merry second day of Christmas, or uh, Kwanzaa, or uh, sixth day of Hanukkah, or whatever you celebrate. I uh, figured I'd make this video to show what I got for Christmas, because there were some uh, really nice things I got. Uh, I'm going to start uh, over here and grab these with me, because I did, yes, ask for a lot of Unikitty blind bags. And uh, surprise, surprise, some of them happen to be doubles, like a good chunk of them. <laughs> but, uh, so, the, uh, the dessert Unikitty, sleepy Unikitty, uh, sick Unikitty, and the shades Unikitty are the four that I had, um, before yesterday, so under my tree, I'll, um, I found, uh, the rest of these, and, uh, I now have, uh, the camo Unikitty, Angry Unikitty, uh, Shades Puppy Corn, Alien Puppy Corn, Dalmatian Puppy Corn, and Dessert Puppy Corn. So all four Puppy Corns in one day. That is, uh, that's quite a new record. <laughs> but as of right now, there are only, um, two, um, blind bags that I need to get now. Um, the Stickers, uh, Unikitty and the Dragon Unikitty. This is why you don't record with a camera like this. But uh, these two right here, these are the only ones I need now. Um, got some other uh, Unikitty themed stuff, um, but because the show doesn't really have much merchandise, it was, you know, Lego Movie 2 based. Um, like this cute little keychain. I especially like the back of this one because it's not just white, it's got this nice pink pattern with the clouds and stars. Very, very cute. And nice and soft. And uh, this stationery set, which I opened last night, so I could take it with me to a Christmas party. Um, that was a bad idea. Um, came with uh, stickers, one normal pencil and six colored pencils, an eraser, and of course what I thought was a notebook, but turns out to actually be a sketch pad. And I actually drew some stuff in there already. Can't wait to uh, do more in this. <laughs> Um, these two were technically in my stocking, I mean, they were in my stocking, so technically they, uh, should count, but, uh, I got this nice new, uh, Marvel notebook, and a ballpoint pen, which is shaped like a microphone, and I love it. It's very nice. Um, my favorite Disney movie, um, is The Princess and the Frog, so I asked for it on DVD. And because, you know, Disney Plus is out and they've been taking away all the, uh, copies of the, uh, that are like Blu-ray and whatever, they just had this. I don't know where my mom found it, but, uh, hey, at least I have it. Because, like, I feel bad I didn't see the full movie sooner because, like, it was in September when I saw it on, uh, I think it was Freeform. And I love it. It's great. It needs more appreciation. Um... I decided to uh, skip the clothes, but this, I guess, really isn't one. It's uh, hair turbans. And since this is probably the thickest head of hair on the planet, um, I think I could really use these as I have trouble putting my hair up. Um, I got a new calendar with uh, Hatsune Miku, and yeah, for those uh, who are wondering, the other cryptoids are on here, too. I'm excited to have this in my room. Um, I got a Nintendo Switch Lite because my brother and I have a Switch, but he's always hogging ours, so now I don't have to worry about him always playing on there and me not having a chance. So, um, we got Luigi's Mansion 3 and Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield. Um, I have shield while my brother's playing sword and I have six Pokemon on there already so um here's my team so I've got a Thwacky, a Wooloo that I named after Unikitty OC lol um Thievel, Crovasquire, um Roselia and my newest team member Growlithe I'm really excited to keep playing it really reminded me how much I love and miss playing Pokemon and this technically counts as a gift for both me and my brother, since we both love Steven Universe. But yeah, we got the movie. 
And I think the movie is what really uh, sparked my love. I mean, I mean, I was a huge fan of Steven Universe before. It sparked uh, my brother's love for the show. Because, like, he and I he were both fans. But, like, as soon as the movie came out and he especially started watching it over and over again, that's when he also started watching Steven Universe Future more. Because, like, like, how can you not love the show? Unless you're one of those people. But, uh... Now, I saved the biggest one for last. Um, but it's a, it's concert tickets with a certain note in here. So, uh, let me explain this because, like, I'm still rigging out over this. But, uh, dear Aaron, since you weren't able to see in sticks in 2018 because I explained what happened to me in 2018, how about you going in 2020? And as a special treat, how would you like to meet the band? Take mom and enjoy the show, love. It was my mom. I'm not gonna beat around the bush here. She knows. She knows. But, like, I still don't know how she got the meet and greet stuff. But, like, the Beacon Theater, March 18th. I'm going to meet one of my favorite bands ever. I'm um, I'm just so happy. I can't wait. I know it might not seem like it now, but I really am. Like, the more I think about it, the happier it makes me. Oh, I got the Slava Lamb too. Forgot to mention that. <laughs> but uh, that's pretty much it. Bye.